What's up, Pan Dudes? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I'm unboxing. Looks like another one of these match case containers. Ooh, looks like it came from with some stuff. Pick this up on Amazon. And uh, again, another alumin, aluminum. Seems like it's painted. I mean, it seems like it's powder coated, you know? Look at the texture on there and it feels durable. Uh, from EDC gear, sturdy. Reliable, waterproof. This one's black and it's pretty long, as you can see here. It's kind of almost like one of the tactical flashlights. It does come with two extra O-rings, it looks like. And that is probably so you can, you know, what's interesting is this one is a little different in that it looks like you can open it top and bottom. Let's just quick take a little tour through the uh, fuselage here. Cap on the bottom with some uh flutes here so that you can grip it and open it up and obviously you can see the o-ring right there kind of a really short cap on the bottom and then a little bit taller cap kind of like a water bottle again fluting up at the top so you can grip it a big big loop for running a carabiner or paracord through there and uh o-ring obviously obvious right there so let's pull up the bottom here and screws thusly Ooh, lots of threads Ooh, ooh holy smokes Holy smokes, if you want threads, man, you get your money's worth with this. It's a cap, kind of like a silencer. And threading right there. Uh, the aluminum is kind of thin-walled, which is nice. So you don't have a real thick kind of milled aluminum. Whoops. Now let's take off the top here. I'm doing lots of thread. And because it doesn't open up in the middle, I guess you kind of need... The top and the bottom to come off especially if something falls down the bottom like you have a cotton ball or something down there you're never going to be able to get it out these two pieces the caps seem like really kind of meaty they have some weight to them and obviously you can see them here they look like they do um, but there's a lot of heft on these and then the tube here it's kind of a little thinner uh it actually feels yeah, like i could crush it i probably can't but it feels like i kind of could as you can see there then you've got a whole pass through so you can get everything out, which is nice, like I said, because it's kind of long and deep. You know, for quick comparison, I have one of my Strike Anywhere matches, and you can see there. And if you put matches on there and they fall into the lower cap, I mean, I don't even know if you could get your finger. I guess you could get your finger down to get them, but that'd be pretty tough. So, pretty clever. I didn't even know the bottom and the top came off, whichever is which, because the uh, logo looks like it's this way is up. Um, and what's interesting is, I think, I, I'm sure the threading is the same on both ends. So they're really, the tube has no real up or down. So anyway, if you're looking for something to uh, carry in your EDC camping survival outdoor pouch, you can certainly check this out. I'll maybe give you a quick dimension here, four inches basically, just maybe a smidge under, maybe actually a smidge more with the top on. Uh, so if you have something longer that you need to take with you, I think this is the well, this is the EDC match case container that you're going to want. Check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Panda, out.